All right, it's about time for me to drop this sick beat. Here we go. I forgot my verse. What is up, everybody? Random Random Man here, bringing you my review for Straight Outta Compton, which stars O'Shea Jackson Jr., Corey Hawkins, Jason Mitchell, Neil Brown Jr., Aldous Hodge, and Paul Giamatti, and it's directed by F. Gary Gray. Now, the plot follows rap group N.W.A. as they emerge from the streets of Compton, California to revolutionize hip-hop culture with their music and their tales about life straight out of Compton. Speaking from personal experience, I'm not that big of a fan of rap music. However, this movie became one of my most anticipated films of 2015 ever since the first trailer for it came out. And it showed a lot of potential to tell a great story about one of the most influential rap groups in history. And I'm also a fan of some of F. Gary Gray's previous directorial efforts, such as the comedy Friday, a pretty funny one at that, starring Ice Cube of N.W.A., and the 2003 remake of The Italian Job, a really good remake for that. But the last movie Gray directed, Law Abiding Citizen, I didn't like that much. But is this movie any better? Let's run down the whole thing. First off, the cast member I have to get out of the way immediately is O'Shea Jackson Jr., aka Ice Cube Jr. Yes, that's right. Ice Cube's son is playing his father in a movie about part of his life. And it may seem far-fetched at first to think about how Ice Cube got his son to play him in a movie, but it's terrific casting. This guy gives an outstanding performance as his father. Corey Hawkins is also fantastic as Dr. Dre. We also have Neil Brown Jr. as DJ Yella and Aldous Hodge as MC Ren. These three guys also do pretty good jobs as well, but the one cast member in NWA's roster that I have yet to mention is Jason Mitchell as Eazy E. Now, this guy's a revelation. I truly love this performance. I think that he really deserves some awards recognition come this Oscar season. At least nominations. We also have Paul Giamatti as Jerry Heller, the manager for NWA, and he really impressed me here. I enjoy him as an actor, but in this movie in particular, he provided the right balance to how this guy wanted to push NWA to the very biggest amount of success that they possibly could achieve, to also showing the reality in how the music industry works in the business side. So for the cast here, I just think that they have assembled, the filmmakers have assembled, such, such a stellar cast for how this story is supposed to be played out in all the right ways. The story captivated me from the very start. The opening scene is riveting and it keeps going throughout the movie. I think even if you really don't like rap music or are not that into it like I am, there's a lot to get out of this movie. From personal experience, once again, I'm not that big of a fan of this genre of music, but certain types of songs and artists do get me at times. I think the best kind of rap did come out of the late 1980s and early 1990s, and N.W.A. definitely fits that time period. And it makes me wonder how influential this group really was until I kept watching the movie. And with the rest of the story and how the dialogue, the dialogue is just so cleverly written and just shows the reality of how these people talked, how they acted, and just how history played out for the most part. Stylistically, this movie entertained me on that level alone. Now, the music, for example. You cannot have a movie be about a very famous rap group and not have good music to boot. I th I just love the music here. Again, I'm not that big of a fan of rap. I'm more of a classical and rock guy myself. But just the atmosphere and just the incorporation of N.W.A. songs are just used to perfection. I think other songs that are used here to set up the very setting that N.W.A was a part of really helped late 1980s music, early 1990s music, and just all around really excellent. And N.W.A. songs, some of them I do recognize, especially the one regarding law enforcement to be brought up against, really did make me very excited and just very pumped up to listen to these songs because they are used so well. And the cinematography, just the very uh, settings, set designs, everything that this movie has to offer really made me feel I was a part of an NWA show. The only issue I have with this movie is really once it hits the climax, it noticeably slows down afterward 
in the second half of the movie. Once NWA reaches their very peak in success and popularity, it takes a subsequent turn to show how they fell and disbanded altogether. Now, I can't blame the movie for really taking a slower turn as the movie goes towards the end. The movie runs at about two and a half hours, but I really didn't mind that at all. But it really did show how, you know, the first half of the movie was really this big party and the second one showed the reality of how these guys individually, mostly with Ice Cube, Dr. Dre, and Easy A, dealt with all the fame and success of their rapping. Now, I think the movie was still an all-around very, very great biopic. I've seen my fair share of biopics, but this is among the best I've seen in recent memory and probably in general. My final thoughts on this movie are that phenomenal performances, writing, and direction spotlight history's most relevant rappers. And I do mean the statement in how the movie has a compelling narrative that shows off real issues that are still alive and well today regarding racism, prejudice, police brutality, and all that stuff. And when NWA did that back then with their art form of music, this movie does it today with the art form of film. I really love this movie. The exceptional performances, the writing with the dialogue and all around direction really made me entertained, and the stylistic choices that this movie takes really made me feel like I was in that time period when NWA was king. I think that even if you aren't a fan of rap music like I am, or just a big music fan, there is something to take away from everyone who watches this movie, whether it is the message that that it portrays, or just how entertained you'll be watching this story unfold. I love this movie. It's one of my favorites of 2015 thus far, and I highly recommend it. My final verdict for Straight Outta Compton is four and a half out of five stars. Thank you all, as always, for watching. Be sure to like this video, comment on what you thought of Straight Outta Compton, subscribe to my channel for more, and I'll catch you on the next movie review.